boy, Rico's day in court. I've always wanted to go to jury duty. Welcome back to a Gator Snapper playthrough of Just Cause 2 with Gator Snapper, as is apparent by the title of me saying Gator Snapper playing through Just Cause 2. How long can I fucking keep this intro going? Anyways, hey, we're back and we're doing more things with what not. Oh, ow. Oh. I thought there was like a fucking forklift with a giant box that I could drive and I was super excited for a moment. Then I'm just like, oh, it's a fancy fucking motorcycle that probably costs the fuck $18,000. Boo. I wanted a simple forklift, but what do you give me? Something pretty fucking neat. Alright, well, whatever. Let's. We're moving our way up to the next mission, which I guess. I don't know, it's another fucking side quest, which I think I had said before that maybe I was going to start doing them off camera, but never got around to playing this game in my free time, so, uh, oopsie, my bad. Oh, and I'm going the wrong way, too. There's my waypoint. Oh, I guess I am going the right way. But yeah, I don't know. I I probably should just do a bunch of this, uh, this shit off camera, just like... Saves a lot of time, and I could get to the meat of the game. But also, I kind of like the side missions, like playing them on camera, because for one, a lot of them tend to have some like fun, weird shit going on in them, and for two, it's just kind of fun in general. Like this is one of those games where I'm like, oh, the side quests aren't so bad. I mean, the official side quests, not like those ones that's like, oh, race or blow shit up real fast. Those ones, I'm kind of not even just on the fence on. I still don't like those kinds of side quests. But these, like, official side quests, I guess I've now taken to calling them. Those ones I have a good time with, because, I don't know, there's, like, character interaction and whatnot. There's fun things that tend to happen to them. Like, this is one of those games where I'm like, oh, it's I just have a good time playing it. I don't know if Just Cause 3 and apparently now Just Cause 4 are like that or, or are going to be like that. But uh, I hope for the best. I don't know. At some point in the future, since I do have Just Cause 3, which I bought on some sale, I don't think it was the summer sale, I might play it at some point in the future, just because I had such a surprisingly good time with this game. Like, I, I like, yeah, I don't know. I, for someone that complains so much about unnecessary side quests, or even the ones that you're forced to do, like in this game, it's pretty fun. Yay! See, that's all it takes, like, to make little fucking annoying side quests like that interesting. You just have to make it fun. Like, if, especially if you're going to require them. I, and, I don't know, honestly, like, way back in the day when I played, um, Red Faction 2, Guerrilla Warfare, or whatever the fuck it was called, uh, I don't know, I think the side quests in that game were pretty fun too, but I, I just kept dying over and over again on one, and it got kind of frustrating, so, I don't know. That's another thing I've been wanting to get back to as well. Like, do a, a redo of, uh, Red Faction 2. I swear, is, is that one Guerrilla? I think Guerrilla's the third game, which I don't think is as good. I mean, just, I don't know. I've, it's the same fucking thing I said about Red Faction 2, where I was like, Yeah, lots of people don't actually like this game, but I think it was pretty fucking neat. When, meanwhile, the ratings for that game are like 9 out of 10, or at least 8 out of 10. Or at least they were when I had checked, when I had to fact check myself for being a fucking idiot. But yeah, I don't know. One day, one day maybe, I'll get back to it. Oh boy, this is what makes this game interesting! Oh boy. <laughs> that almost could have turned out great. Well, in all fairness, I probably should have jumped off the bridge ages ago. This is all just karma coming to bite me in the ass. Alright, let's fucking get ourselves moving. Oh boy. Oh god. I wonder, is there, like I like I said, I know nothing about Just Cause 3. I've never played it. Are the, Do you get, like, two grappling hooks in that game? Because that'd be fun. If I had two little grappling hooks in my arm that I could just go, like, like with this kind of thing going with it twice. Or if I could set it to, uh, uh. If I could set on, like, two things and kind of slingshot myself. You could do that in, uh, Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 2. Because if you just say Spider-Man 2, no one knows what the fuck you're talking about. That's another game I'd love to play. But unfortunately, I don't have a PlayStation 2 to play it on. And it's a lot harder to play a PlayStation 2 game, it would seem, than it is to play a GameCube game. Ah, uh, whatever. Let's see. I'll pay attention to what he's actually saying. What the fuck's a cap? This is why I don't pay attention to what they fucking say. I don't know what a fucking capster is. I'm just gonna start shooting everybody that's wearing a cap. All the hipsters in this town are gonna fucking go in no time. I guess not really hipsters. Hipsters don't really wear, uh, those, uh, they don't wear caps nowadays. I don't even know if they wear fedoras anymore. I think that, like, I think fedoras became such a, like, a, what do you call it? I don't know, they just got such a negative image that people no longer want to wear them. They don't want to be associated with that. I don't know. What's the new thing? All I know is that, I don't know, these aren't even hipsters either, but, uh, that meme we had to do it to him, like that's that's the only thing I can think of now that like I I 
attach such a, a hate to whenever I see someone dressed up like that. But that's mainly because I knew a lot of annoying people in college that dressed up like that. I don't know, it's, it's such a stupid fucking outfit. I don't fucking know. Oh, 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 hey everybody. Sorry, I'm trying to perform an assassination. How do I do anything in this game? Hold on, come here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, well, he's been assassinated. Uh, speaking of assass- of the, wit the witnesses are leaving. God damn it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, eh. Yeah, oh, fuck, damn, that guy's hardy for what looks like an old man. Hold on, do that- do I have, like, a distance? Fuck, fuck. Oh god, this is hard. Assassination is so hard. Where's he going? I lost. I lost. God damn it. Curse your eyes. God damn it. Alright, well, let's fucking try this again. I'm sorry, I- whoa, what the fuck was that? Weird fucking audio hiccup. I'm sorry, sir, I tried my best, but then you didn't fucking tell me that there were people on guard on the rooftops. Uh, maybe I should just fly by overhead. Actually, do I, do I need to pick up that sniper again? This is probably... I mean, they're giving it to me for a reason. It's probably my best bet. Ooh, unless this is a grenade launcher, because... No, it's not a grenade launcher. I don't know, I'm just thinking, like, a flyby assassination with my parachute where I drop a bunch of fucking grenades on top of people. Pretty fucking cool. Oh, he did, he did mention... He did mention that they were heavily guarded. Oopsie, my bad. Well, let me just get to a rooftop where they won't fucking be able to shoot me easily. May do they notice me yet, either? Can I can I zoom in more? Is that the witness? Uh, I don't know. Let's give it a shot. Fuck, these people are so hardy. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, okay, one down. Uh, uh, oh no, oh no, one of them's aiming at me. Oh god, this is hard now. I'm flustered. Okay, we're good. We are good. Ooh, and there's someone else I could have said. Oh, he's behind the building. Well, damn it. Wait, why was this mission called Rico's Day in Court? I didn't get to do jury duty at all. I'm upset. My immersion in this game is ruined. I was totally ready to sit somewhere for like four hours, ready to judge someone that I didn't even know. Oh, ooh, new black market items. <gasps> It's the fly-by assassination weapon! It's the fly-by assassination weapon that you drop from the sky! Which, actually, that wasn't a good fucking description, because both of them dropped from the sky. Alright, good job, Gator Snapper. You can't even say a simple joke uh, correctly. Oh, well, let's move on. What have we got? God, I'm still far away from the next agency mission. And speaking of mission... Oh, they're all the way over here! Is there one closer to me? There's like no city challenges. Have I just done everyone? Eh, we're ignoring that one. Have I just done everyone else's missions except for the fucking yellow team? Why do I ignore the yellow team so much? He's gonna think I don't like him. Meanwhile, it's just because I just don't have time for him. He's a little bitch. Oh god, actually what I'm expecting is that I'm gonna have to do these missions and the one I don't want to do. Which is kind of an unfortunate uh, turn of events, but alright, whatever. I'll try the fucking black gold one again at some point, I'm sure. Uh, and I guess just for chaos points, I should try to kill this guy as well, because I need the chaos. God, he is well hidden, though. Let's go over here. God, I fucking love the function of the grappling hook. It's so cool, especially in the city environment. I feel like, I feel like Spider-Man. I feel like the good Spider-Man game from back in the day. Ooh, ah. The PlayStation 2 Spider-Man game, if anyone hasn't played it or heard of it, is super good. So, yeah, I don't know. G fucking, if you ever have the free time to play it, go ahead and play it. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh, ooh. I didn't, I thought he had, like, more body armor than that. That's why I was like, this guy is really hard to kill. No, my aim was just shit. All right, well, let's continue get, getting... God damn. That's still one of the things I hate. Rico's just sense to start Superman flying as soon as he jumps off the smallest ledge. All right, well, let's keep fucking going. Am I out of alert yet? Nope. Sheldon, can you just pick me up anyways, even though I'm under high alert? Oh, God, I want to blow up some statues. If my objective is to raise chaos, I should be blowing up more statues anyways. Oh, what if that's what's going to have to happen? Like, I do all of every single side quest in this game, but I still have to collect more chaos, so I just have to go on, like, a fucking bombing run of the entire island. That might be a fun episode, depending on how I go about it. Like... I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I want to do it in a weird way, because then it would probably take way too fucking long and be really frustrating, because if it's weird, it's probably going to be difficult to properly do. But I don't know, something like, um, oh, what's a good example? I don't know, just like running around in a fucking, uh, what do you call like a jet? I don't know why I said running around, but yeah, flying around in a jet just blowing up random shit could be fun. That might also get kind of boring too, though. I don't know. Lots of things. Uh, Sheldon, did you, did you get my message? Is this, I'm doing this right, aren't I? Yeah, oh no. I was holding the down button for no reason. Whoops. Uh, let's go... I wish the markers would stick around. Oh, good, I didn't discover it. I know it's somewhere here, though. 
Uh, here we go. We're going to go to Civilian Village to Tikonga or something. I don't know. God, I like how it kind of shows where you've been in... Well, yeah. I, I was about to say, like, where it shows where you've been in the world. It's kind of obvious, but the paths you've taken, like, which ones you do more often. Or at least just the fact that you never fucking, I don't know, check out certain areas. I don't know. My thoughts got kind of lost as I was saying it. I was trying to think of a good way to say the thing, and then it came out just being the stupid way. Ooh, some windmills. Ah, God, I don't have time to break windmills, no matter how much I'd like to. Yeah. Okay, but I also don't want to end up like a fucking bird getting caught up in them. All right, let's get some extra fucking speed going. I can cover two kilometers easy. Is anyone actually? Is this like an actual thing that can be done? Also, like a grappling hook helping you fly really fast in a parachute. I feel like there's some more physics related to it, like trying to uh, gain momentum by like. I was about to say pen... No, slingshotting. That's the right word. By, like, slingshotting yourself, would that actually help you? I know flying through trees, definitely you'd get caught up in no time, but... I don't know. I just... Is slingshotting with a parachute really a valid idea? I then again versus... Oh, shit. I hit something. Probably a tree, judging by the sheer abundance of trees. I just, um... I don't know. Like, there's no... I already saw it on Mythbusters. There isn't, like, a good grappling hook... Or, like, the technology capable of making a good grappling hook yet. Or, that was also, like, ten years ago whenever that episode came out. So, who knows? Maybe someone's made, like, a really compact motor that has, like, a lot of fucking power. Who knows? It's one of those things where I've, I've been out of the loop of fucking spy technology for a long time. So, I would not know one way or the other. Also, I forgot if I've already found this out before. Is Enrico a spy or just an agent? Like, for the, the, the... I don't know. Does he even work for the government? I don't remember. He... I guess he's working for the U.S. government, but he's not, like... Uh, uh, I don't fucking know. I was trying to think of a way to say it properly. I... Is, basically, is amounting to... Is that boy American? Oh. Haven't... Didn't you tell me this before? Is... Hmm... I feel like he said that exact same line before. I'm a simple man. I have no need for extravagance. I, uh, I don't know. I swear I've heard him say that before, but I've never done a mission where I steal a race car for this guy. Maybe they just ran out of fucking dialogue for him. They ran out of money to pay the guy with. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to see what's... Uh, wait, no, you gave me a nice gun. I actually, no, it's a shit gun. I don't want it. Never mind. Oh, fuck. He's, he's coming. He's coming for me. Is he going to come towards me or what? No, he is leaving. Oh, God, he's driving real fucking fast, too. Uh, well, I'm catching up to him, so maybe it's not so bad. I was thinking maybe I'd lost the fucking initiative on grabbing him because I was being stupid trying to pick up that nice gun that he left behind for me. All right, Tom Gunawan, we're going to fucking grab your car. We're going to have a good time doing... Why, is, why are the cops already pissed off at me? What have I done to deserve this? I've been a nice boy this year. Oh, he's not even fucking driving fast like guys expecting him to. Excuse me, sir. sir oh, God. Oh, well, oh, hey, I made it. All right, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to get out of the car. Ooh, this is a very nice car. Oh, that's a long way away. Ooh, I hope he doesn't mind if the car is a little bit damaged. Oh, this is a super nice car, though. It doesn't look like like just a luxury car. It looks kind of like it's a futuristic... Ooh, ooh, this is so cool. It looks like a futuristic, like, Batman-style car. Like, this is just the Batmobile. Oh, this is so nice. I love this car. Uh, what's your name again? Sh Sri Lanka? Sasheshwan sh uh, sauce? Sriracha? Oh, God. I might have to ask you to let me borrow or have this car. Like, we can make you another one, it's fine. You're rich, after all. You're in charge of this whole organization of cult members. Just collect your dues or whatever. I don't know. Isn't there... Haven't we kind of discovered that each of the leaders... Well, except for maybe the guy that's in charge of his own little mafia. His is kind of expected, but everyone else is kind of like... Not really... Ooh, on board. Ooh, this is a lot more damage than I thought. Not necessarily on board with uh, their whole, like, faction's ideals. Like, the girl that's in charge of the, the the rebel army or whatever is kind of motivated by money. Uh, this guy, I... Well, this guy... Maybe this is guy is the one who's motivated by money. Fucking shit, stop shooting this really nice car. It's super nice. It was, at some point, super nice. Oh, God. And here I am trying to fucking cast some shade on my fucking allies and friends. Oh, come on. Oh, if I lose this car just because I'm two feet away. Oh, Fuck, I guess everyone else is just blowing themselves up. Oh my fucking god, if I lose this car to stupid bullshit. Here, it's here, it's here. Exit the vehicle. It's yours now. Take it. Why is everyone shooting at me? Uh-huh. I, You're worried about racing right now. You have a lot better things to be worried about. There's a whole fucking... 
like, army here shooting up your shitty little car. I'm gonna throw some grenades. That'll teach them all. Haha. This should do the trick. No, no, I forgot how hardy these silos are. There we go. Well, this will at least help with the chaos. That's a real small chaos score. I'm not happy with this. I'm a little happy with it. Anyways, that's going to be the end of this episode. So this has been a Gator Snapper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.